have here Acer macrofolia, big leaf maple, California native tree, and of course we find this very, very large wound. You can see how large this is, more than a foot across. We even have a little bit of fungus activity taking place. And of course we can see this is a kind of a little mushroom organism. And of course this is a decay organism. And it's decomposing the soft, pithy wood that is present here. Very, very hard to stop this kind of activity going on. And of course, the first rung of the food chain are your funguses, molds, bacteria, and so forth. The decomposition organisms that break down organic material into their component nutrients and chemicals. And so this fungus is just doing its job. This is wood unprotected by bark. This cavity here that we see is a large hollow, and you can see it goes way, way in very soft, absolutely pithy, and we have a chunk of mortar inside this hole as well. And what had happened is the tree with a hollow like this is a very attractive site as a secondary site to host various organisms. And so what happened is a beehive started up in this hollow, in this cavity, and of course pretty soon it's going to be stinging the children in the yard. So the cavity was filled with mortar to take away the habitat and the bees stopped with this site. The bees themselves are not causing any harm to the tree, they're just being hosted by the favorable habitat. The big issue here is the structural integrity of the tree itself because as this wood decays into the main stem, into the main trunk structure, then pretty soon the tree is structurally unsafe. The armature of the tree is then no longer able to carry the physical loads of the branches, the canopy, the stems, uh, and leaves. If you look at the tree from, say, 50 or 100 feet away, the tree is quite perfect. All of the new growth is just like a juvenile tree. The leaves are quite perfect. The vascular system is excellent. We've got good circulation and sap pressure. We've got nice, long meristem leads. The tree has recovered itself back into a beautiful form, but the whole issue traces back to the really aggressive pruning that took place a long, long time ago. A wound that a tree can't heal could be said to be a death cut. When a wound cannot heal, that ultimately will turn into an injury that causes the death of the organism. The Acer is not a very good healer. They get a big wound, that is a permanent injury. And so this tree will not die vascularly, it will die structurally. The final removal of the tree will result because of either failure or collapse or wind throw or damage that is beyond the tree's ability to continue.